Okay. Hi guys, this what you see is an old vacuum cleaner motor. Now, if you look closely, you will find the commutator, brushes and one of the field windings, which indicates a universal motor. Now, let's focus on the label. As you can see, it's showing 50 to 60 hertz at 1000 watts. So guys, now it's time to open up the impeller casing of my universal motor. Uh, the impeller looks very nice although I highly doubt it that it is going to survive the water pressure if in the future I plan on using it as a water pump. So let's give it a spin before taking it out completely. <laughs> oh. So guys, before we start with the testing part of using a vacuum cleaner motor as an electric generator, let's take a look at these universal motor powered machines. So I'm going to choose an angle grinder to demonstrate that universal motors can produce large amount of electricity. Let's start with the connections. This what you see is the thread, the angle grinder, the wires and finally connecting to this bulb, 12 volts. Let's turn on the switch. So let's wound the thread and see if it glows. As you saw that I did not connect any external power source or battery for the field excitation of this angle grinder and still it produced electricity upon shaft rotation. Why is that? That is because of the self excitation and it happens only with few universal motor operated machines not every universal motor now this one that you see is a very old type of universal motor and it is from a blender here as you can see is the commutator and the brushes now for close-up and inside view of the motor you can see the armature and the field winding not the magnets but the field winding from where the wire is coming and joining the brush slot now let's connect a 60 volts DC e-bike charger to this motor and see how it performs. So guys now that you have seen it in the motoring mode let's test it as a generator, see if it can generate electricity or not. So guys here as you can see that I gave it a spin but it is not generating electricity. Now let's run it in the reverse direction, okay. Here is the knob in the drill for reverse operation. Now let's try it again. And now it is working as a generator. Okay. Oh. Whoa. So bright. So guys, the mixer and blender motor is also acting as a self-excited generator but only in one direction. Here as you can see that I've already connected the drill machine to the vacuum cleaner motor and to the output wires of the motor I've connected this bulb once again. Okay.
Now let's reverse the direction of rotation. Reversed, okay. For either case, it is not generating electricity. So to convert it into a generator, the first step is to disconnect the field pole windings from the brush slots. After that, take another wire and connect it to one of the disconnected wires of the field winding like this. After that, calculate the length of the additional wire needed to connect it to the other left out wire from the disconnected winding. Now connect it to the left out wire. Now in total there are four connections left to these blue wires and to these brush slots. Make sure that this additional wire is not touching any metal piece. Now take two jumper cables and connect it to the brush slots. So guys here I'm going to use a fully charged 3.8 volts lithium ion battery and as you can see that the bulb is glowing very dim. So guys here I have connected a multimeter to measure the voltage because the bulb is not glowing so I have to make sure what the problem is. Let's check the generated voltage. So as you saw that even after adding a 3.8 volts battery the generated voltage is only a little bit higher than that and since the bulb is not glowing which means that the current is even lower so it is a disaster generator let's increase the field input voltage uh, by connecting a 12 volts UPS battery Obviously this time the voltage, generated voltage should be higher. But let's see by how much. So the voltage increased from 5 volts to 10 volts almost. But it was not enough. Let's connect a bulb. So guys the bulb did glow and although it acted as a generator but the power consumed by the field winding was much higher and uh, for that the bulb is going to glow much brighter directly. You see it is much brighter this way so I would say that this is the worst generator ever for vacuum cleaner motor unless you like decide to modify the armature winding.